So how have you been? At war with you, that's how I've been. Go get him! Are you kidding? That could have been me! Tony McNamara's writing, you read it and it's hilarious. Well, if you flinch, it's going to screw up the trajectory. That one's your fault. Apologies. In season one, Catherine's determined to take power and I guess season two is really about the world from season one being flipped on its head. What are you two doing? This is my court and my rules. Can you hear me now? The Catherine's final push for power. We pick up four months after season one left off. Russia is ours. I feel giddy. A lot of season two is her living out the realities of a coup and what that really means. You honestly can't think you can run Russia without bloodshed. I can. I'm winning. I love that you think that. I think she thought once she took power, <laughs> everyone would just do what she said. She's not perfect. What happened? I lost the dog. And that's what I love so much about her and Tony's writing. I'd like to do something of importance today. I cannot get my hands around it. We know a great deal more about our world than we did when we made season one. So that informed the writing as well as the performances in season two. I am back. Reason itself. <laughs> Apology accepted. And yet not actually given. The writing has a very kind of naturalistic feel about it. It's quite loose, but it's also very specific, which makes it feel like a play sometimes. It is bold and very Russian. When I wrote the play originally, the historical detail didn't interest me so much as the idea of this young woman coming into a country she didn't know and taking power and the themes of why you would put yourself at risk to do such a thing. Sometimes you just take the next step and the path appears. That is what I wish to do and my team dissolved around me. All right, of course. Sorry. I think the writing's just sublime and not only very, very sort of crazy and funny, but uh, also very touching in places. Sometimes I think you're the only person who really knows me. I do. We knew how the characters could be developed and we just went to town. <laughs> We found a lot of amazing historical facts that we've used that everyone will think we made up. In real life, Catherine did invent the roller coaster, but in our show, one of our serfs invents the roller coaster. How do they not die? They do. And we'll be like, it's actually what they did think, which is done. You're doing the frog. Yes, I'm doing the frog. It is discredited Hocus Pocus. Instead, I will insert this sage bundle, and that will do what the frog purports to. Tony's writing so brilliant. So it's just exciting to jump back in and then see where Tony wanted to take the character to next. He's found an excellent balance. Get used to the future, gentlemen, because it's coming. I always try and just be truthful to the characters. There aren't really jokes in the show. They're really just who people are and how they behave and how they respond to each other. Ow! <laughs> I give in. You shall prevail. Let us remake Russia, my friend. Indeed. Are you actually excited for me? I am.